hello everyone welcome back to my little channel how's everybody doing so today i have a bright and beautiful i try to keep it kind of simple but still have a little you know a little design i'm gonna be doing some glow in the dark nails girlfriend yes honey so i'm using the new 2xl coffin no c curve um, in clear, we do have them available in clear and natural, but today I decided to use the clear ones because those were the ones that I had in hand. And also I didn't know what in the world I was going to do. I was a little in between doing chrome or doing a bright set. So I went ahead and I asked Instagram. So if you, um... If you voted for the chrome, I'm sorry, girlfriend, that could be another video. But if you voted neon, girl, this is for you, honey. So I'm using our new little glue. We do have this new glue in a tube. It does dry pretty fast. And it has more control than the squeezy. So which one you prefer best. And... I'm not going to cut them at all because we need some bad bitch... Um, bad bitch vibes up in here. I'm just going to go ahead with my little file and file the little tip because it does have like a little plastic dot on it. So I want it to be kind of straight so when I do go file again later on, I don't have to work too hard, you know? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And next, I'm just going to file off, I mean, blend the tip and I'm using my sanding band 100 i mean 150 150 grit and this one's already used and abused but i didn't want to like open a new one just for my practice hand so whatever you got girl normally i do it with a hand file but i misplaced my clamp so i was like oh i'm just gonna have to hold it myself Hold this little hand myself. And these are the new glow acrylics. We do have the collection. Um, I believe they're nine colors. Um, and the yellow one is number two. We do have two yellows that look very similar. The only difference is, well, in my eyes, I can't really see a difference as far as color. <clears throat> but there might be like just a little hint more green on the other one. Um, but the glow, it glows different. So that's the difference between the two yellows, just in case you saw them and you're like, why is there two yellows? They look the same or whatever. They just glow different. Um, and the pink one, it's number eight. <clears throat> so right here in the nail, I was like, should I do an ombre? What should I do? And after I put the second color, I was like, you know what? Let me just do like a little swirl type of thing you know like marble vibes kind of but like it looks more like a popsicle type of vibes so this finger was a little hot mess in the beginning but the next finger that i do is a lot sorry guys i'm over here trying to do my eyeliner while i talk to y'all and so pretty much I just apply the colors on the wetter side so that they're able to kind of mix um, easier. And I'm going to be using the cover Dusty Rose Girl. Yes. So for anybody who has been looking for a cover color that's not like pink, but it's not brown, but it's not peachy. Girlfriend, don't worry. I got you. I got you. It's a perfect shade for any skin tone. I love it. Um, and pretty much I'm just doing a little ombre using this color. Bless you. And so this finger, I already knew. I was like, okay, I know I'm going to do the swirls. So this is how I would normally do it. I apply one color first and then the other. And while they're still on pretty wet, you kind of move them around. Just don't move them too too much or pat too much because then they blend and they make a whole new color which is cute and all but we still want the original tones to show up um and then you repeat the process until you're done with the area that you want and i'm just doing the tip because again it's going to be an ombre ish look and 
girl is easy 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 and i'm using the dip monomer <clears throat> the one that's specialized for dip monomer and i know people be getting confused because they're like well how do you use dip with monomer or whatever so pretty much let me tell you guys again just in case you were not here last time um the powders that are used for dip you can also use them for acrylic for acrylic application they're just extra fine milled acrylic um but i don't know if you've ever used them they do run they're very runny when you apply them onto the nail for the most part so what this monomer does it kind of controls the setting time i guess it speeds it up a little bit more if that makes sense um so you can use this monomer with any acrylic it doesn't necessarily have to be just dip but it is formulated for like the dip powders to speed the drying time so they won't be running everywhere okay and then i feel like the ombre is um easier to blend with it as well so let me know in the comments if you tried it and how you like it you know we just i'm not that best at naming shit so i was like okay girl that's what you're gonna be dipping on brain <laughs> so pretty much right here on the middle nail i'm gonna be doing an ombre and you will see now neon colors are kind of tough to blend period but it's not impossible so check it out girl pretty much i always start with the bottom half no matter what the color is i always start at the bottom half why i don't know i just find it that it's a lot easier and i always work in thin and thin <clears throat> i try to keep my shit thin so that if I do have to go ahead and apply more later, I will and I will not like have a torta nail. Um, oh, hold on guys, sorry I'm doing my lashes over here and I have to like concentrate so I don't poke my eye. Um, so pretty much once I place my first bead at the center where they both meet, that bead is normally the smallest and a little bit more wet so that you could do the blend. And you know, sometimes you grab a little too little and you don't have enough, but it's okay. You can always go ahead and add some more. Um, so right here, I'm just going to finish up the cuticle area and then you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and try to fix my little blend. And like I mentioned, the neon and black and red are actually one of the toughest colors to blend. And I just wanted to make the little orange in the middle so that it's a nice transition i mean that ombre looks bomb already but you know we can make it a little better and if you ever see your nail and you're like damn girl i did a horrible job this ombre don't look like an ombre all you need is to encapsulate it okay i don't know what that clear does but it just gives a more flawless blend trust me i used to doubt my ombres and then after when I put the clear acrylic, I'll be like, okay, girl, you bomb. You did a good job or whatever. Ombre is pretty tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be a pro, girlfriend. Let me just tell you that. And it's really important for you to know how fast or slow your product dries to, to have a successful blend or just any type of application. Because every brand um, dries differently, so... You just have to learn to use each and every one, and then it will be a piece of cake. And so the ring finger, I'm just going to do fully pink. It's like a neon orange pink. I don't know. What color do y'all see? I see pink, but then I see orangey. I don't know. I must be tripping or something. So don't forget to subscribe to my little channel. We just reached 19K girlfriends and boyfriends. Whatever you are, because last time somebody got mad at me, like, um, what did they tell me? I forgot. It was on Instagram. They're like, well, boys don't matter or something like that. I was like, no, that's not what I mean. But I feel like my channel and my following is majority females that men hardly ever comment or anything like that. So I don't know who's following me, you know? 
Um, but when I say girlfriends, if you're a boy, you my girlfriend, okay? Because I can't say boyfriends. My man's going to get jealous. Eh, just kidding. Um, so I'm just doing the whole nail fully, <clears throat> fully this color. And um, I do take my sweet little time applying the beads. And it looks like I'm applying a lot. But because of the length of this nail, girl, it ain't a lot. It's enough and the application is a nice thickness, but I still encapsulate no matter what. I mean, that's optional for you, but I just feel like that clear acrylic is what's going to make it a little tougher, you know, and they ain't going to break. So I already filed shaped and now I'm just going to um, go, go in with my extra fine bit because people do ask me that how do I file the cuticle area and this is actually the bit that I use to get in there, girl. So if you scared to get near that cuticle and you think you're going to cut somebody, you need this bit, okay? Because it's soft at the tip and it smoothens out the nail perfectly. It's just my favorite, girlfriend. It's my favorite. Make sure to always have the file flat and not like hella curved or at an angle to avoid causing rings of fire. So if you don't know what a ring of fire is, it's pretty much that indentation that you leave or nail ticks leave on the nail. And that shit hurts. So if you're creating rings of fire, your client will be like, oh, that hurt. So you're burning their natural nail. So make sure to not do that because that shit is painful and it does look ugly. So take care of your client's nails, take care of your own nails, but practice, 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 and you will get better. So I'm going to go ahead and do some 3D nail, 3D art, I mean. Um, I'm using the same colors that I use on the nail itself. And I'm using number one, which is a white acrylic. And our number four 3D brush. A bitch needs to get going to work already. So I'll just let you guys watch this in peace. With my new little favorite Mary Jane song. Let me know if you guys like it. And also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a little like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine yeah. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now Mary Jane, please love me Mary Jane, please hurt me. Mary Jane, please hate me. Mary Jane, please love me. I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now.
I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now. I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine. Yeah. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now. Mary Jane, please love me. Mary Jane, please hurt me. Mary Jane, please hate me. Mary Jane, please love me. I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now. I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now. I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine. Yeah. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now. Mary Jane, please love me. Mary Jane, please hurt me. Mary Jane, please hate me. Mary Jane, please love me. I'm just trying to get to you like I want to make you mine. Yeah. I'm just spending all my thoughts on you like I need you now.